so the Quest 3 has been having some updates regarding the tracking. Being able to track the hands better without the controllers, as well as having some sort of simulated full body tracking. With that, the new virtual desktop beta allows you to use your Quest 3 with simulated full body tracking, but you can also use the hand tracking to emulate index controllers. Right now I'm using only the Quest 3, so nothing else, just the Quest 3 headset running on SteamVR through Virtual Desktop. Now when you have the index controller emulation enabled, the controllers when you use them try to emulate the index inputs. In the most case this works fine, the only thing is right now the hand is always open because the touch controllers don't have a grip sensor. The grip button still works once you press it, but even in the resting position when you're just holding the controllers normally on touch this would give sort of a relaxed sort of grip but with this right now in its curtain state it's just fully open this is something that could be fixed a bit later but just as a beta this is something to know about but the exciting part is that when you disable the quest controllers and just use hand tracking now you actually have finger tracking in pc vr with the quest 3 so no controllers this is just using the hand tracking and i have finger tracking now now this isn't as robust as the normal finger tracking with the Quest 3 or Quest 2 when using that in normal standalone mode. When using that in standalone mode, it actually tracks the fingers really well. With this, it's trying to emulate the index controllers. So in that case, you don't have finger spread that you can track, but you can track them as much as you can with index. It still does break if you kind of bring it out too far, but Meta has been working on wide tracking where it will simulate the tracking position. So even if you do go outside of the direct camera range, it can still sort of simulate where your arms would go. In this current state for VR chat at least, it doesn't really have good button presses. You can pinch to kind of pull the trigger, but you don't have an accurate way to trigger different buttons with just the hand tracking right now. But you can always just go back and grab your controllers again, and then you got the ability to use buttons again. Now the other thing that people are excited about is the simulated full body tracking. Now just to be clear, this is not actual full body tracking with inside out tracking. It is a simulation based on your position and what the headset thinks your body position should be in that sort of orientation. So in virtual desktop, you just enable the virtual vibe trackers and then, and then like any other full body, you'll just have to calibrate it. Now this has more tracking points than just a normal three vibe tracker setup. So it does track the elbows and the chest, but then the, but then the waist, knees and feet are emulated. So we just do our, you know, little calibration and it tries to look decently all right, now this isn't actually full body tracking, so lifting my leg doesn't work. Even if the cameras can fully see them, it doesn't really work. But for things like sitting down, it does try to emulate what it thinks your position is. Again, it has full view of my legs, but it's not actually tracking their position. Um, if I kind of move around, it tries to figure out the point, but it's just an emulation of what it thinks your position is. It does seem to be a little bit floaty, but it does have some benefits, such as if you need to like pick something up, it's a more natural sort of pose than the way VRChat normally kind of has you crouch. As well, if you're just kind of standing and moving around a little bit, it does give a little bit more natural sort of stance to you. Now, of course, this is just a beta and also kind of the first step and doing tracking like this with Inside Out. But I think it is a sign of good things to come. And I'm excited to see how stuff like this develops where you will get not only better, but also cheaper options for full body tracking for anyone who wants to use it.